Good evening, everybody. We are continuing tonight in the uh, chapter 37, which we just began last week. This would be the second class. Um, and as we always note, you can always uh, tune into the previous classes, uh, maybe the, um, the longer past, or the this, this tuning into this very chapter, Laden Zayin. <clears throat> via clicking on the uh, or putting the word Tanya on the link box here on this site or on the TanyaOnline.com where you could get hosted by the same uh, uh, kosher tube yet uh, a site designated for this very class only for this class which again easy access to the previous classes again focusing if you want to see the very beginning of Pedic Lamed Zion or any of the previous classes as noted uh, and namely you could follow the class with the text as we mention it every week for, again for newcomers and we're compelled to mention it because we always begin usually we begin in the middle of a chapter middle of an idea and mm, the one wants to have clarity in the, the overall chapter and the overall message of the Tanya um, the, so again we can, we always feel compelled to mention that you have always the easy very easy access to the previous classes so again as we mentioned this is the second class Empiric Lamed Zion which what is the message of Lamed Zion of this chapter this 37th chapter is that when we speak about Yemais Mashiach and Chiyas HaMesim the revelation of the Gili, of the Aryan Saf, of the infinite light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, blessed be he, which this is what Mashiach, is um, the time of Mashiach, and namely Tchiyas HaMesim, the time of the resurrection of the dead is all about, as the al um elaborates on this in the 36th chapter, which again, you're more than welcome to go there as well, whereby the al Rebbe makes it very clear that this is the um, the ultimate master plan for creation that the most deepest levels of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the way HaKadosh Baruch Hu is transcendent of even being a Bayre as we mentioned a number as there the al Rebbe uses the Lushan that anything of HaKadosh Baruch Hu <clears throat> attributed to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the context of HaKadosh Baruch Hu creating may it be not only this physical world but even the Eilam Esel Yenim the Supreme Worlds is a Yerida for HaKadosh Baruch Hu is a descent for HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the way he goes away from himself from the infinite the infinity of HaKadosh of the Ein Sof the infinite dimension of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and he invests in something different into create a Eilam Eilam Alashin Halam Hester, it doesn't matter what Eilam, it's this physical world of the Eilam Asal Yenim, even like I say, even the the Ganadin Ha'el which is a very high, lofty, holy world, yet it's a Yerida, it's a descent for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and where does the Ein Sof really want to connect to? Nisav HaKadosh Baruch Hu, these like Dira Batachtainim, the Lashin in Pashas Tanchum, and is in Medish Tanchum, excuse me, Pashas Nasei, is the Ein Sof connects to this physical world, and that is going to come to total state of revelation and manifestation in Mesa Mashiach, and namely again in Tchies HaMesim. The Ein Sof himself will connect with the Elam as a Tacht and precisely this physical world, because that's what they wish to have a Taiva, and he's Ava Kodesh Baruch. He had a covet to connect to Tachtainim, not to El Yenim, yet to Tachtainim. Ein Tacht in the world, Ein Tacht in Lamati, men of the lowliest world, low, the lowest level. Of all creation is um, this physical world, and that's what Hashem decided to connect to. And what level of Hakadosh Baruch Hu lies Baruch, the core essence of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, which is again beyond any description of Neichi Hashem Alekecha. Again, which this process began the Mantei and culminates by Yemesa Mashiach, namely get Chesam Mesim, the total revelation of the core essence of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, the way this the Eved is Hashem, the Ein Sof, the true Ein Sof, infinite level of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, the way they wish to transcends the um, the notion of being a bayre or connecting or his relation 
to Gan Eden and so on and so forth. Again, as the, as, uh, the Altarebbe um, um, elaborates much in the 36th chapter, which again, you're more than welcome to go there and you're more than welcome to go there and um, see the message in Patek Lamed Vov. So what is the message in Patek Lamed Zayin? Um, that it's not something which just comes all of a sudden. Hashem decides, okay, now it's time for revelation. What level? The most deepest level of myself. Time for Mashiach. Time for Tchis HaMesim. The revelation of Eint Tzav Baruch It doesn't just happen just like that. This is an accumulative process. This is a mm, process which began... From in, in back in back in time, maybe from the very beginning of creation. This is Ruchi Shal Mashiach. The spirit of Mashiach was there in the very beginning, as the Gemara says. I believe in Rashi brings it. <coughs> and later, the other tzaddikim. You could, and, and, and certainly you can say the process began by Avraham Yitzchak but namely by Matan Teira. Where Kadosh Baruch Hu reveals Himself, Anechi Hashem Alikecha, and He says, "This is the plan. Now we're going to connect, or we're going to formally connect to the Tachtein." So it began all the way there. And what David is really saying that this is this is the point of Matan Teira. This is the point of Limud Teira, learning Teira and doing mitzvahs. The mitzvahs is the Anechi Hashem Alikecha. Every mitzvah is the Anechi Hashem Alikecha. For that matter, it does say in Medrash that every mitzvah is Anechi Hashem Alikecha. Every sin is. It's a, to some great degree, as Al Tareb explains, that really is it the notion of uh, idolatry. Thou shall not have another god in my face, which is Alpani, which is wherever at all times. The Kodesh Baruch is, uh, is everywhere, and that is really not only behind, but Al Tareb really is message in Perik Yud Ches through Chavav that this is the Leilacha. But again, in, in, in with this context, is that every mitzvah, what a yid does, and the mitzvah, namely the mitzvah say over here, as we're dealing with in the very beginning of chapter 36, 37, that every mitzvah say, this is the Ratzin Hashem, you put on the film, this is part of the Nech Hashem, this is Ratzin Hashem, Ratzin means the Ebishter, the way he's transcendent of, er, of everything. It's Pnimi Saratzin, not Chitzaini Saratzin, this. Ratzin, which creates and emanates and so on. This is the pnimis of a Kodesh Baruch the inwardness of a Kodesh Baruch This is the Ratzin, the Ratzin, like Ratzin itself, even by man. Mm, by Ratzin is something which is transcendent over, over any Cheshben, Chochma, Bina, Das, Rational. I want, that I want, that I want, the deepest levels of a Kodesh Baruch Hu wants, that's a mitzvah, Ratzin Hashem, Tefillin Hashem wanted. Not like he wanted to create, which is more the external dimension of Hashem. This is the pnimis, the core essence of a Kodesh This is the pnimis, the uh, Eivishter wants. This is Ritzainai, pnimis Ritzainai. This is who the Eivishter is. That's the Anei Cheshem So when you do the mitzvah, you're bringing about the Ein Sof Baruch. You're connecting the Ein Sof Baruch with the Elam with the very physical world. For the mitzvah itself comes, the material of the mitzvah comes from Elam Haza, so you're connecting the Elam Haza with the Anei Cheshem Lekech, with the Ratz and the Pnimis Ritzayim, So when Yidin started doing mitzvahs in the, right after Matan Teira, namely after Matan Teira, again, it began to some degree, <clears throat> over by Abraham Mitzvah Yaikiv, as our forefathers, but namely by Matan Teira, when Akkadosh Baruch opened that window of the Anei Cheshem Lekech, and as when Yid does a mitzvah subsequent to Matan Teira, he's doing just that. That is the connection of the Ein Sof with the Te'elam Hazat and he takes it something of, 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 of a worldly matter, again, <clears throat> something from this world, from Te'elam Hazat Tachten, and he connects it to the Ein Sof, to the infinite light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He does the mitzvah with it. He connects, he brings the Ratz in Hashem, the Anechi Hashem Lekecha, with this object, with it, which he, he does the mitzvah with. So, <clears throat> the Al Tareb is basically saying, and so, so what happened in 33 years? We're doing all these mitzvahs. Why don't we have the revelation of the Insof? This is because they, we didn't have the, the why, did, why, what really happened in those 33 years? Everything which will come to 
the state of manifestation when Mashiach comes really happened, what existed throughout the entire Gullus. Well, maybe they just needed more and more mitzvahs in order to have the whole world, the Dira Tachtinim, but none that a dwelling place for the Loi, for the core essence of the Kodesh Baruch Hu. <clears throat> But yet, every time he had, he did a mitzvah, doesn't matter if it was a thousand years ago or two thousand years ago, he was doing that very, <clears throat> he was connecting the very fabric of Eilam with the Loi, with the Kodesh Baruch Hu, with the core essence of the Kodesh Baruch Hu. The problem is that it was concealed or hidden, it was it was uh, it was hidden in meaning to say it wasn't yet the time for revelation of that when you say uh, when you say revelation when you say revelation that itself says that everything was there before and throughout every and again every time you did a mitzvah throughout all all generations you had throughout all generations everything was happening it's like we gave an example someone's accumulating uh, golden coins but it's dropped into a chest which he cannot see for so many days, weeks, or maybe perhaps years, decades. Now all of a sudden he has the ability to take the key and open up and appreciate all those gold coins, do something with it, and so on and so forth. Does it mean the gold coin came when he opened the box, when he opened the chest? Not at all. It was there before. Because he was accumulating those very gold coins. Similarly, throughout all, all, all times, from I'm telling you, when you do mitzvahs, that's what they're doing. They're taking the physical object and 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 connecting it with the Ratzon Hashem, with the Anechi Hashem Alekech, with the core essence of Hakadosh Baruch, with the true infinite, with the infinite light, rather of Hakadosh Baruch. That's what's happening throughout. And so when Mashiach comes, it's Gilui Masay Nevavest the Sein. No, it's the revelation of this of this accumulated Masay or doings in Avodah Sein throughout the time of the Mukhals. And here the Alter Rebbe again dissects how it works. So he begins, let's keep the order over here. Later, the Altarev will cross into Laysis, but the Altarev is focusing on the Mitzvah. He says, when you're dealing with the revelation of the entire world, so the entire world has to participate in this, in or connect to this Ratz in Hashem, to this Anayich Hashem, to the Ein Saf of HaKadosh Baruch which will come to revelation, to a state of manifestation when Mashiach comes. So the Altarev goes through the different process of, again, the, the, the world, how it is, the, 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 the process of transformation. So he begins. Last week we began with the object itself. You take an Esri, you get a Lashon al You take Tzedakah, this is all physical. And there's material again, we mentioned again last week. You're more than again welcome to see that very last, we mentioned last week's class, how the process beginning again, or what's the details of the process till now, we're receiving its chayis from Klippa Snege, its energy from Klippa Snege, and now it transformed and connected to the Ein So you did a mitzvah with it. Mitzvah is Ritzayin, Epnimis Ritzayin, the Epnimis of Hashem's Ratzayin. This is the Ein Sof. So that is transformed. Now Terebbe goes on and says, Who's doing the Mitzvah? It's not happening on its own. The Esrit just doesn't be picked up on its own. And a Mitzvah is done with the Esrit. Now it's man does the Mitzvah with the Esrit. The Yid does with Mitzvah with the Esrit. Who's the Yid? So the Yid has a combination of an Nefshali Kis, the godly soul, and we have the Nefshali Mahatmis, the animal soul, which vitalizes the body and gives its physical energy to the body. So the Nefshali Kis is dictating to do the mitzvahs, to learn Tayyid and do the mitzvahs, and because the Nefshali Kis knows nothing else other than and the, con the connection with godliness, because it, it is a pachela to the kami mal, is a part of God. So it sends the, only the godly messages. It introduces love and fear. Not only it in its own has the ability to exercise love and fear, if we don't, we just allow the Nefshel Kis to be, to express itself, that all its faculties to come to full state of fruition, full state of expression, again, that's dependent on the Yid, allow the Nefshel Kis to live, to express itself. The Nefshel Kis doesn't yet, focusing on the Nefshel Kis itself, has nothing else other than its all total expression is, in 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 a, in a godly manner, in a godly fashion, it's love is love to Hashem, fear fear to Hashem, thought speech and action is all entailed in mitzvahs and so on. So the first thing we have to allow, allow the nefshel kis to show not to eclipse ecli eclipse the the nefshel kis from giving it the ability to express itself, and that's again totally the bedus adam to stay focused, totally independent of the service of man to stay focused, and not uh, cover up again by the chatoim sins, chaman <clears throat> litzlan, cover up taint, dirty, the nefshel kis, but again, we're not, we're not emphasizing or dealing with that right now, 
Torah explains that in the previous chapters. Chav Dalid, Chav Dalid, namely, but the 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 nefshali kis, but the, yet the same the the main the, the message though the nefshali the, the the point is rather that not only nefshali kis exercises or is able to express itself fully, but more so it's there it comes down into a body. It invests in the, into the in, in, in into Elam Haz, into this physical world, invests into a body, invests into an Efsha Bahamis, into the animal soul which vitalizes the body and educates it that it should also connect to a Kaddish Baruch Hu. via learning Taylor and doing mitzvahs, which means the Nefshali Kis is here to transform the Nefshah Bahamis, transform the and the goof, the body itself, the body itself, like the Mishnah says, Vahapna Sashem Lekecha Bechola Vavcha. The Mishnah says, You have to love a Kodesh Baruch Hu. The Mishnah points out that a Kodesh Baruch Hu doesn't say in the Teda, Vahapna Sashem Lekecha Bechol Lipcha, with all your heart, singular, in a singular term. Which that would mean, and then eventually, Kis to love a Kodesh Baruch Hu, which in essence, what's the command? Perhaps, like we just said, allow the Nefshali Kis to express itself the way it really wants to, the way it innately desires to express itself. Perhaps that would be the Tzivah, the command, but the Teda doesn't leave it there, even though that would also be a command. For the Nefshali Kis, you don't really have to command it to love Hashem. It doesn't have anything else, but it has love, love to a Kodesh Baruch Hu. It is part of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. But perhaps the command would be allow it to exercise itself. Allow it to, 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 to execute each one of its important expressions and its connected to Kodesh Baruch Maybe love, fear, thought, speech, and action, and so on. But the Pasuk says, In a plural manner, not only love Kodesh Baruch but with your godly soul, your Yitzhah your Nefshah Likis, your godly soul, but even with the Nefshah Bahamas, with your animal soul. With the Yitzhah love of Kodesh Baruch introduce love to Kodesh Baruch Hu to the 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 animal within who exists within each of one of us. And again, the reason why the term animal, Nefesh Bahamis, sort of explained it again many quite a few times. But again, it's 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 it's, it's synonymous with the Yitzhah Tahara, obviously. But the point is to love a Kodesh Baruch to introduce love to Kodesh Baruch Hu within Nefesh to into the Nefesh Bahamis. I mean, to say that the person. Every part of the person understands that it just only makes sense why we hear. We heard the Sivra Kodesh Baruch Hu. And is there anything greater than the Sivra Kodesh Baruch Hu? Kodesh Baruch Hu is everything, everything is a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Chayecha, different levels again of educa- educating the Nefesh Bahamis. Showing you that you don't have any other life, you know, you're totally dependent on a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Hence, love a Kodesh Baruch Hu. This is all part of the educational process <clears throat> from the Nefesh Lekis into the Nefesh Bahamis. But the Alter Hal Terebbe, the Alter breaks it down in this context of the physical being transformed to godliness and connecting with the Neich Hashem Lekecha. That the Nefesh Bahamis is ultimately the same. Nefesh Bahamis is the Nefesh Chayunis. This is the life force which gives the body its energy to exist, to live, to function, and so on. So the point is that the Nefesh, when the Piyid does the mitzvah, who is doing the mitzvah? In the end of the day, who is doing the actual mitzvah? Who is so much participating? Who is the main player in the actual mitzvah? Is the animal soul. The Nefesh Eliki sends its dictate, but in the end of the day, it's the Nefesh Bahamis, the Nefesh Chiyunis, which is giving life to the hand. I'm taking the straps from my one with my right hand and wrapping it around my left again. This is a normal way of putting it film to the exclusion of those who are lefties. You put the other way around, but yet it's one hand takes the energy. It's the one hand takes the straps and put it onto the other hand. Where's the hand getting its its vitality, its energy right now from? It's getting it from the Nefesh HaChayunis, the animal soul, which is right now vitalizing my hand. This is the Nefesh HaDadam, the Nefesh HaBasim Badam, which is investing in the blood, which it settles in the blood, and that gives the Chayis of the person. So the Nefesh HaBahamis is right now giving the Chayis of the person, and what is the person doing with that energy? He's strapping the tefillin, or he's lighting the, or she's lighting the Shabbos candle, or any other mitzvah. She's eating matzah, or keeping Shabbos, and so on. He or she. So the energy which is coming from Nefshah Bahamis into the hand which is putting on film is right now connecting, the energy itself is connecting with 
the Anaychi Hashem Lekechas. It's not only the tefillin itself is being transformed to a chetz mitzvah and being elevated and being connected to the Lois Barach, the Tachte, the physical object associated with the physical, the physical world, and connected to Lois, to the core essence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But it's myself as well. My Nevesha Bahami is my nev- animal soul, which is right now vitalizing my body, and my together with my body is performing the mitzvah. So that is as well transformed. It's another energy of Klippas Nega. Again, as we explained, it took more time last week again to explain the Klippas Nega, even though we had it towards the beginning of the, of the Sefer of Tanya, in the chapter 6 and so on. But we took the moment again, you could always again see the last week's class, as mentioned, to understand what happens is the transformation from Klippas Nega, the energy, something which is receiving energy from Klippas Nega right now being removed and elevated from its receiving again its energy from Kupas Nege now it's connecting to the so not only the object but my goof, my body, my nefesh bahamis. Even though that I become a tzaddik, the nefesh bahamis completely transformed itself. Only to love a good no, we still obey it. Even tzaddik only loves a good baruch. And again, the, the, to throw that in as well, it doesn't mean as the Alter Rebbe himself says it. But it doesn't mean that you became the tzaddik. But it's balkar chachiyana ame. At least when we do the mitzvah, the involvement of the mitzvah is the nefesh bahamis saying, "Okay, I'm doing the mitzvah now." With nefesh bahamis participation, nefesh bahamis playing an important role. In doing the mitzvah, the hand is putting on the tefillin, putting on the mezuzah, and so on and so forth. So the 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 the, 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 is the body, which till now receives <coughs> its energy from klipas neg, is right now being transformed and elevated to a pnimius etzene, becoming one with elokus, with God, with God. And so the Rebbe says that's when, and again, what we're holding this week, that's when you do a mitzvah. You do a mitzvah. There's ayla, there's ma'aseh, this physical energy, and exercising. Uh, physical ex- 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 exuding mm, the physical energy the physical energy is is being elevated because of phys- the 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 phys- the, the kayak which does the mitzvah comes from the nefshah the nefshah yunus nefshah bahamis from this animal soul again not to be even point to this out in the very first chapter again nefshah basu vidami it's a posuk and that is involved in mitzvah so apparently that would apply to those mitzvahs which are associated with mice, putting on tefillin, putting up a mezuzah, and so on and so forth, lighting the Shabbos candle. And it said, today the Altarebbe picks up, but what about my, uh, a whole segment of Teda mitzvahs, which you don't see the person's physical energy involved, or the physical action, or the, uh, the, the investment with my physical action. Which then you say in the process, my animal soul and my energy, the guvah, the the the, the keicha odom, the keicha ma'isa, is the keicha ma'isa rather is being transformed into a lakus, into godliness, and there is a whole part of teira mitzvahs which does not demand action, which is learning teira and doing and, and perhaps prayer. So what happens then? There's no physical object which I'm dealing with, which again, you already have the deficient. This is something which is again, it's removed from both sides. It's not a physical object which you're dealing with, like you're shaking a little of an acid. Together with that, it's not, I'm not, there's no physical energy involved in picking up an acid. I'm sitting and learning tight. Where is the elevation of my nefesh hayunis, nefesh bahamis, my animal soul, towards HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to the Anei Chalisham Malikach, when I learn tight. In this context, again, the Gabi, the union with the Kodesh Baruch Hu, the Rebbe writes in Perik Hei, Chav Gimel, Lamed Zayin, actually towards the end of this chapter as well, the importance of learning Teda, the unity with the heavens, with the, the, the great, the, the, the advantage, even over, even over doing a mitzvah from a certain perspective in the context of unity and union with the Kodesh Baruch Hu. But here, we're dealing with the, in the context of elevating the Nefshah Bahamis, elevating the energy which exists within man, when he learns Teda, where do you find it? Teda is more of an intellectual pursuit as opposed to an actual um, action. So here, the, here, this is where we were holding. So this is on page Mem Zayin, which is right pretty much in the middle of the page, a little towards, the, I would say maybe even a third, a third into the page. But the Alter Rebbe continues, the line begins, Ein Saf Baruch Hu. You can find it again in the original text, Mem Zayin, corresponding to that in the English text. And then the Alter Rebbe, again, the, the, in, 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 in 
<coughs> the words begam is what we're holding. It says we, and the Rebbe continues that the gam, the mitzvah is Talmud Teda, that even in the midst of Talmud Teda, or for example, Krishna. <coughs> we spoke about prayer, but the Rebbe says learning Teda and the mitzvah of Krishna is an example. We know the mitzvah of Krishna is one of the 613 mitzvahs. How do we say Krishna? We just verbally utter the words of Krishna. Actually, with a kavana. Here, Dr. Abad says, well, to feel a prayer of a transcendent part of me is expressing myself. A deeper part of me is expressing itself and its connection and its dveikus. It's cleave with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You don't see so much the Nefesh Bahamis, the involvement of the goof, the chayis of the goof, the Nefesh Bahamis, taking something, part of me, and elevating to HaKadosh to Baruch Hu, apparently on the surface. It's not like I'm doing a mitzvah. I'm learning Teira, saying Kriyashma, Davening. So the Rebbe says, Av she'einan basiyah gashmis mamosh. Even though you express these mitzvahs, you realize these mitzvahs, you implement these mitzvahs not via any physical action. To say that the energy of the Nebuchadnezzar Bahamas is being transformed because again the Nebuchadnezzar Bahamas is giving koyach, like in the context of tefillin, like when you're dealing with the mitzvah of tefillin, koyach to the hand to do the mitzvah, so when the hand is the mitzvah, it's the energy from the Nebuchadnezzar Bahamas which is, which is being elevated through the maiseh mitzvah. And apparently here there's no Misa. Which is again, Misa is dealing with the God of the very physicality of our bodies. Which before we do the Mitzvah, Michelle's Klippas Nega was under the control and dominance and rulership of the Klippas Nega. Which is through via the Mitzvah transformed to Gdusha. Transform and connect to the Ein Saf of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Pnimi Sritzayne, the Mitzvahs are called Ratz Nashem. The Anechi Hashem Lekech, ultimately. Nonetheless, Mikoma, which again we don't find not by Talmud Teir, not by Kriyashma, not by Tefillah. Mikoma came, nonetheless, no. Don't come to that conclusion so fast. Okay, Milan, we, we know it, it's established. The hero love, Kidibur Domi. Speaking, is, thinking, is not like uttering words, verbally uttering words. Now, this. Um, statement here, Lab Kidibur Dami, is brought in, in halacha in a number of areas, but pertaining also mitzvahs limudat and kriyashma and, and fila for that matter. Meaning to say that a person learns teira. The Gemara says that even though teira is about, about perceiving, understanding, that is what teira is all about. And let's begin with teira. The Tate is not only I'm going to open the Gemara, I'm going to say the Till, I'm going to say every word of the Gemara. I was mishtatif in the Shir, I don't know what's flying. The Gemara says clearly you don't, you didn't, you didn't begin to make the mitzvah of Talmud Tate. The other day, someone was telling, someone was telling me we were giving a class. Someone was telling me, you know, I, 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 I don't understand really. I go to this class of Daf or something, and I, I don't really understand. We just go through the page a day. It's wonderful <laughs> that you're not uh, that you woke up early. It's better than sleeping, sitting around the Gemara. This is all holy, and, and uh, the Gemara even says, "Walks to shul this chara halicha and this and this chara of sitting with people, learning Teda, and perhaps grabbing and listening to some concepts of Teda." But the gabi, the, the limud of the daf, or limud of the, the, the this, what you're learning. If you don't understand, you're not mekayim in the midst of Talmud Teda. This exclusion when it comes to Teda should be sad. That's why even Amarot can make a bracha and say the Teda. But overall, limud of Teda is about understanding. That's what the mitzvah limit that is. <clears throat> understand what the I understand the Gemara. I understood that Tesis. I understood that Rosh. I understood it. You have to understand it thoroughly. It's not a matter of making a lot of noise, and it's not a matter. It's a matter. Of, it's pasha understanding that every word in the Gemara makes sense to you. It enters. You can. You make sense. It shines. The message shines through the words of the Yasis. That is Arishin and Achin, Allah and Rambam. Whatever you're learning, that's the mitzvah Talmud. Yet. The Gemara says, Chaim heim l'mitzayim b'peh. That the true way of Kim and Mitzvah Talmud Teir is that you verbally utter the words of Teir. That's why you go to Yeshiva, it's not a library. 
people sit in love with a chayil, a passion. Omer Abaye, Omer Rava, and so on and so forth. Because there's a mitzvah, the 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 the, whole, the, the, the shleimus of mitzvah, limasat limina teda, the way that Teda wants us to learn Teda is not only to understand, which is again the primary mitzvah of Limina Teda is to perceive, to understand, to appreciate what you're learning, but as well there's a mitzvah of, to verbalize the words of Teda. <clears throat> and this is the, the, the shlim, the holistic way of, of, of keeping of, of the mitzvah of Talmud Teda is to as well to express the the limud bedibur to express the study also um, in words verbally again as we mentioned verbally out of the words of Teir Chaim Hema Mitzei Mepet and here is where this here who love kidibur dami it's important to know that because Teir demands us to verbally utter the words of Teir when we learn. So when we learn Teda and we're, we do not express it in words, in other words, we don't mm, verbally utter the words of Teda, we're lacking in the, in the shleimos, in the perfection of keep, 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 keeping this mitzvah. So, mm, again, these are the two dimensions of the Teda. On one hand, yes, primarily it's about understanding, it's not opening the Gemara and just going through and reading the words. No, that you didn't make Chaim Bechal, that means of Talmud Teda. The point is to understand, yet it's important to, to say the words of Teda, it's important to learn Again, to say the words of this which you're learning, to utter the words of the Gemara or whatever you're learning, any concept you're learning, that is the way the mitzvah of Talmud Teir is performed. And why is the Al-Tarebbe bringing this? Again, this halacha is to tell us that when it comes to Limit Teir, you're also taking, you're investing your Nefshah Bahamis in this process of learning Teir. Because first of all, there's the physical, there's the physical movement of your lips. How does your lips move? If your kiss doesn't move lips, your kiss will tell the lips to learn Teda. But then if Shabbat is the energy, then if Shachiyun is the nefesh, the nefesh of Bedami, which is in Parshas Bereishis, the nefesh which enters into the blood, which is giving chayas to the person, to the and and and, and, and with that he's able to move his lips, and he makes a decision to move his lips. When he learns the Teda, so that is a Misa, that is also an action. And if it's an action, so then Nefesh is being transformed into a Lakus via the learning Teda as well. And again, this obviously applies when a person says Kriyashma, it's important to born say the words of Kriyashma, not only to think about the oneness and the unity of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the love of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Echshma Yisrael Shem Lekei Neshem Echad Vafes Hashem Lekei It's important to say Veo Hafta Ez Hashem Lekei Echad Vafes Hashem Lekei Echad When it comes to Kriyashma, it's important every letter is supposed to be pronounced with the maximum precision. That's the mitzvah, that's the mitzvah, so there is Misa as well. Hirur Lav Ki Dibur Dami and as a Lushin is that the that moving your lips is also Misa. And the same thing applies to prayer. We have to say the words of prayer. And that's what that's again Al Tareb is following this this idea that again that the point of Tayyab Mitzvah is is to, to transform the Nefshah Bahamis, the animal soul, and the goof, that, that itself should become not only again the this which we do the mitzvah with is elevated, if maybe the ascetic that's filling the mitzvah and so on, but the person is as well, the Nefshah Bahamis, the energy, the Nefshah Bahamis, which till this moment is receiving its Kayaf and Klippas Mega, is ascends and connects to that Pnimi Yisarot saying to the Anechi Hashem Lekecha to the Insaf. And with this, again, we're going to see the text of the Alter Rebbe culminates this point, but then the Alter Rebbe adds more so. That the Pahil, when you learn Teda, when you learn Teda with a chayiz, with a passion, that you put all your effort into it. So there's so much energy of the Nefesh Maham. It's not only the physical movement of the lips, but when you go into Yeshiva and you see a Yid, a Kosher Yid, it's not letting Teda and lishma, hopefully, right? Lishma, when I let it the highest, so there's a lot of energy which is invested in this learning, additional to again the actual movement of the lips, as the Gemara says in Mishmeres, and the lashon of the Gemara is, um, if we remember the lashon that if if that's the way the Tate is guarded with you, becomes part and parcel of you, easy, you don't forget it easily.
is when you get totally involved. A, hence, when you get totally involved, there's a lot of energy of the Nebuchadnezzar Muhammad is involved in this learning Torah. And, when there was, and so there's so much of the Nebuchadnezzar Muhammad which is being transformed precisely when he learns Torah. Starting again for the movement of his lips, but more so, it's a rucha bechol ramachi vorev. Kol atzmei say timarno. As we know, there's learning, and there's learning. There's learning the person looks in, like library style. There's learning, you come to yeshiva, a kosher yid is to learn, ta keilu, la da rabbis ha-medish, or it's to learn, ta chayis. How much energy, so much energy is going into the learning. So the Rosh Mahamis has been transformed. All the energy, where is this coming from? Where is this energy coming from? The Nefshel Kis is dictating and, and, and is giving that push that all this should happen, but this is the Kaykh of the Nefshel Bahamis itself which is involved. Arucha Bechole Ramachi Vorov. Physical Ivarim are involved, the limb, physical limbs, which, the energy of the, which is receiving its energy from the Nefshel Chayunis, Nefshel Basar Badamhi, and it's via the Dam is giving the ability the person should express. His or invest in this kech, and again, this kech is, is being invested in limitated the kech which is coming rather from the nefesh from the dam, which is the nefesh invested in the dam, <coughs> and is and is and is uh, exercise ex, 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 expressing its keiches and investing its keiches in its limitated. It's similar when it comes to tefillah, the healthy daven is the person is totally involved. So, so here let's find, let's see all this in the text. <coughs> so this is um according to tell you don't fulfill your obligation, she to be svasov. Till you express the Lumilatayra in speech, and that means through your lips. Over Kaimalod and it's established that Kim Swasavava Maisa. The mere moving of one's lips, that itself is a maisa. Ki Ef Shall Nevshali Kis Lavatab is Fasai, because Nevshali Kis doesn't move lips. Nevshali Kis is a godly soul which leads and, uh, and ought to lead that dictates all the godly messages to the Nefshech but what the pile moves the lips is the animal soul it's the Nefesh itself the Nefesh is the Nefesh that, that life which gives us the ability to move to live, to walk, to talk, to do and so on and so forth that is what moves ultimately gives the ability of the person to move his lips pen, his mouth, the lush, and his tongue the shinayim his shinayim, his teeth, hagashmi, his physical lips, physical mouth, his physical tongue, his physical teeth, are all involved in that learning Torah, and that only happens through the animal soul, which is again the nefesh itself, which gives the physical. We say nefesh; it's not the nefesh. The shama, the keys, the godly soul. The nefesh would give the person to live. Everything has a nefesh. Semech has a nefesh, Devim has a nefesh, but even the animal has a nefesh as well. It eats, it sleeps, it moves, and so on and so forth. And the person, the human being, has that nefesh. Ki nefesh abosah b'dami. That is the nefesh hayunis. That is nefesh b'hami. That's the animal soul, which gives us the life. That gives us the the chayis, the energy, in order just simply to live. And that is what is moving the svasayim, the lips, the tongue, the teeth, the mouth, the tongue, the teeth. Hence, what's in, when it's involved, the Nosh Bahamis is well completely transformed. Which comes to Nosh Chutzabam, Samalubeshis, which is again, this is invested in the limbs, Beibari Yaguf, Mamash, in the limbs of the body. Which again is well being the, the, uh, the lips, the mouth, the tongue, and teeth. And the Rebbe goes on again, which we which we mentioned before orally. The whole Mashem Medaber Bekir Godliyes, and the more the person invests in or speaks with greater energy and greater passion, Machnis of Malbish Yeser Yeser Keiches Menef Shachayuni is Bidiburi Melu. He invests and encloses more energy from the Nefesh Shachayunis. Into these words, there is a person sits and learns. He says, "Zokti Gimara Amarava." 
So he's fulfilling the mitzvah. His lips, his body, my word, are, are expressing mm, this mitzvah as well. So he's mekayim the mitzvah the way the Torah says he is to be mekayim mitzvah the mitzvah chayim him the mitzvah mepeh. But yet, I can't compare it to somebody who is totally involved in this learning. Again, like we mentioned before, when you go into a yeshiva, you see the enormous energy which is involved with, with a, a heilik kosher yid involves or a kosher yid involves himself in his learning Torah. So when he puts his passion into these words, there's so much more energy being drawn from the Nefshah Bahamis. Could you imagine how much is being transformed, the Kechas of the Nefshah Bahamis is being transformed by Elim Lateira? It's Fila. Because the more you, the passion, the person learns, where is that passion coming from? Again, dictated by Nefshah Likis, but Nefshah Bahamis invests its Kechas into those words. Oh, Marabaya, oh, Marava. This is Nefshah Bahamis, which is investing into the experience of learning Tatus. So, so much of the Nefshah Bahamis is being transformed to Elokus, to godliness. This is what the Pasik says, Kolatzmeis, Aitemarno, that all now when a Yid learns that way, the Yid is supposed to learn, again, based on this Pasik, is with all Atzmeisai, with the whole Metzis of the person. Atzmeis usually means with all my bones, with all my Evarim, when a person sits down and learns Teda. The truth is, that's the best way of learning Teda, not to forget about everything else and completely involve yourself in learning the Teda, like this is the only thing you're doing. Every time a person does a mitzvah, it's really that it's the best way of doing it, that you're completely there. So your heart and mind is there as well. But namely when it comes to Lima the Tfilah, and the more you set everything aside, the more you, you sink into the the the, 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 the teda that you're learning, or the davening you're davening, so automatically it's called Atzmese, everything about you is invested. And it comes to external appearance as well, or, or externally you can see. Or we could feel the one even learning Teda is that he's machnis more and more kaychus as he's still learning. He forgets about everything and he gets involved in that tasteless and the, 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 he puts his, all his energy into that limud hateda. There is, there is, there is the whole. There's, there's so much of it in a sense, even maybe more than um, when you take the s, you can shake the s. Even though there it's the maisa, the action, which again you have the virtue of the kaych of maisa, the actual moving my hand and doing the mitzvah, which there you have again the clear, clear connection or the clear transformation of the energy within the shemamis, which is vitalizing my hand, and my hand is doing the mitzvah, so I'm elevating much of the Nefesh Mahamis towards Elokuz, towards godliness, but when it comes to Tehidah, you're not only doing it with a particular limb, it's kolatz, may say to him, I don't know. Should be that, should be that also by the doing the mitzvah, but when it comes to learning Tehidah, and it's just all limited to a particular limb, obviously it is about your your whole obviously there's the, the, the your your seichel is involved your intellect is involved again as we mentioned your lips but there's the kolatz mesi tamar when it comes to learning teira sometimes more than learning teira right tefillah exercising healthy dal a healthy dal so there's so much and again not to lose focus there's so much of the animal soul which is being transformed as Hashem and Azal this is what Azal tells us im arucha b'chol ramachi bar mateira is arucha means to say that all 248 limbs is involved in learning teira arucha is like laden out shulchan aruch in the whole if ramachi varim are involved in the the um, in the in the midst of learning teira mishtamen is teira is guarded you don't easily get teira when you involve the, your whole mitzvahs, all 248 limbs, in the limudat teda, v'imlavin if not in mishdamenes, it's not guarded. Now the Alter Rebbe interestingly picks up on this, and picks up on this mishdamenes la mishdamenes. And with this, he concludes this point over here. And with this, we'll finish the class. <clears throat> how the Altareb is so organizedly, with in such a, rather, rather is, excuse me, in such an organized fashion, um, points out the the gilu, the this this um, this again the message over here of Pesach Lamedzayin that is all it's an accumulative process of all our doings and our avodah throughout the entire, entire time of Galus. And again, this which comes to fruition, you may say Mashiach to the state of revelation and manifestation, you may say Mashiach that the Eibush to the core essence of a Gosh the Yitzvah of a Gosh Baruch connects with the Elamaz Agashmi, the physical Vodokal Basar Yaktav, not the Nesh. 
Shama, the Basa sees in the Kusur Ki Ayin Bi Ayin Yiru. When Mashiach comes the physical eye, will be able to see eye to eye with the Kudosh Baruch Hu. The physical eye can be broke a Basa Yach. Not Shamayim. The Oretz itself, the Deer of the the Oretz will connect to the deepest levels of a Kodesh Baruch, even Ganetan is not connected. He said, Because Baruch is the Deer of the it's in the Deer of the says, and it's a message again in the Pedicle Amid Vav, the Pedicle Amid Zion, it's a cumulative process. It began from the time when the mitzvahs were given, and every mitzvah connects the person and the world to, to a Kodesh Baruch. <clears throat> And here the Al-Tarebik again, in a very organized fashion, in the beginning he starts with the actual, the, the item with which you do the mitzvah with. It's part of Elam Hazah, which is receiving its highest till that moment you do the mitzvah from Klippus Negev, but now it's elevated, becomes part and parcel of the Neich Hashem Lekecho. Then the Al-Tarebik goes on, who is doing the mitzvah? It's not happening on its own. It even happen on its own, without man's involvement, you would have to some degree Dira B'Tachtenim, because the physical is being elevated to a Lukus. But the Al-Tarebbe says, no, it is another part of the process, of the process which is man's investment in Abshecha Yunus Abahamis, which is also receiving its energy from the Nefesh Klippas Nega, till the moment the person does a mitzvah, is invested in the mitzvah. And then he goes on and he says, well, what about Talmud Tehid and Tefillah? We don't see so much the mice of the action. So that's also so much of the Nefesh Abahamis being transformed to Elokus. So more and more of Elam Hazel, the Tachtin is becoming part of the Nechem Hashem Lekechel. And then Ben Sashem in the next class, Nel Tarebbe would say, Where is the Nefshah Chayun is getting receiving its energy from? Where is this Nefesh receives its energy from? We know that a Baruch Hu put the Nefesh in the body. It's not just like a one time, um, you know, you're there and you could live for the next 120, 180 years, Chay Nitzchim, because you're there. No, we know that, as we all know it, the Nefesh Nefshah Chayun is Abahamis needs to, li- in order to live and to exist and not to leave the body. There should be an expiration of the body. The person has to eat. The person has to drink. How many times in this person's life to me has to do that? Every single day. And more than once a day, usually. So where, what is the food? Where, where, so what is, what is he eating? He's eating vegetables, tomatoes, cucumbers, bread, <laughs> drinking water, wine, or, or, or anything. All these are items from Elam Hazza which are giving, allowing, the, giving the ability that a nefesh connect with body. So when you learn Teda, or you do the mitzvah, not only your body, and Nefesh Chayinus Abhamis is not elevated, or the mitzvah with which you do the, the, the object with which you do the mitzvah with, but all those tomatoes and cucumbers and bread which you ate, which made you a living, allows you to live, is also elevated and consumed in to the, or part of the process, rather, and consumed into the experience of the mitzvah. What is the experience of the mitzvah? So the whole entire world, throughout the entire time, of all time, the entire the span of time, mainly from Matan is part of this large process of consuming and becoming part of the experience of the mitzvah. And this is happening all along. And when Mashiach is going to come, what is going to take place is the gili Eden Sapparach. The revelation, we say revelation means something which always existed, but yet was not revealed. So it's grand, it's, 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 it's stupendous that the world itself will be able to feel and see a lukus and godliness, but it didn't begin just the decision of good. and stuff coming in or being revealed to the people. No, this is an accumulative process throughout the entire time of Golos. And now Treb is showing us what happens in the lifetime of a year when he does mitzvahs and he learns Torah. It's the object of the of Ahaz. And everything which he was involved with in order to allow the, the, nefesh, the nefesh to live is also elevated by the Yiddin. The mitzvah of the whole world is being elevated bit by bit, part by part. Mashiach will come, obviously, this is, again, the Gilui, the revelation, but again, they just wanted pro- a certain, the whole world, or every Yid, or Yid throughout all generations, each one to do their share in their each one to do their share in elevating themselves and everything in their surrounding and everything they're involved with to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and eventually Mashiach comes, they wish to open the big uh, chest and so we all see everything which is, uh, has been invested, has been accomplished throughout the entire time 
of Golos, or the entire time is in the span from when Hashem, namely again when Hashem gave the Taita. We're able to experience and see. Kol ma'asein of the same all actions are doing throughout all the span of all, 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 all of the, all of times. So the, the in conclusion again of this very class, Al Tirebe, again. So that the, the next part, which deals with the Elam Haza, the physical again, what we eat, what we drink, and which is also ultimately elevated to this Pnim, to the Pnimis Ritzenis Baruch, which is again is vital in order to get to live, in order to do the mitzvah. Hence, that is as well elevated to the pro, and, and, and becomes part of the process. Of the connection of Lays Baruch, the essence of Kosh Baruch, with the Tachtaidim, with this physical world. This is again will be the next class, but the Tereba deals with the, the person itself, the experience of the person when it comes to Limudat Teira, that even Limudat Teira as well has much of the energy of the Nevesh Mahamis invested, and he brings again the Kolat Smeisit Tamar, and he brings this Gemara which says if it's the, well, the person's all 248 limbs, it's Mishtameres, it's garden, if not any Mishtameres. So he picks up on this and he says, What does it mean in Mishtameres? It's not guarded. It's not guarded with me, which means means you're shy to forget. It's not guard, means you're shy to forget. So he says forgetfulness comes from Klippus HaGuf. The whole notion that a person learns that you need and connects to something which is transcendent of time and space. The God may be Hashem, the God may to forget. I mean, you have to forget. It's something you connected with eternity. Say the word eternity, which means it's, it's, it's there forever. So he says the whole notion of forgetfulness comes from Klippa. Shikha Ba Masada Klippa. It's famous, it's like, shikha, forgetfulness comes from the klipas haguf, comes from the nefshech hayunas abahamis, which has a different presentation. Usually before a person does the mitzvah, it's inclined to the bodily, to the animalistic, and so on. And that, in shehein mi klipas nega, which again, are from klipas nega, as we explained, and this is where the nefshech hayunas abahamis receives its energy from. Again, explained, expanded on this last week, though, namely, Expanded on this in the sixth chapter, which you as well welcome to look. You can see it. You have the easy access to all the chapters and all the classes, previous classes, in the Tanya Online website, tanyaonline.com website. And, but again, we begin this receives from Kudus until the person does the mitzvah, and that's where forgetfulness comes from. So this is again goes so beautiful with this Gemara Miramu or Maruch Mikol Amach Eivari Mishta Meres. You guard the Tate is guarded within you. You know you you never forget it because you learned it the way you're supposed to learn Tate. And when you learn Tate the way you're supposed to learn Tate, everything is transformed to Lakus. So again, it's not only from the perspective of Tate you have the eternal message within Tate, but that eternity entered. You connect with eternity because you learned Tate to boil the the way you were supposed to. Bechol Ramach Ivar with the Tate guarantees Mishnah Meres. So you the the kayach of the cover up of the klipa of the Nevesh Yunus Abahamis, which comes from Klipa Snega, which is the cause for forgetfulness. Shikhaba Mitzada Klipa. You're beyond that. You're secure of that. Because you learn Teda Bukhalar Machi Vari, a Varav, you learn Teda, you invested all the two hundred and forty eight limbs and you're learning Teda. Kolatz may say Temarma. So you're secure, you stand beyond the Shik Khabab Bukbamitsada Klipa. Forgetful because you're ready, you're you're you learned it Mishtameris. As opposed to not, it's not Mishtameris. Why is it not Mishnah Meres? Because you, because it's inside the Nefshah Hayyunus of Ahamis. That's where Shikha comes, that forgetfulness comes from, as we just explained. <clears throat> so, Sheb, Hani Chlelis, Lepam Mikdush, and this is the Kupas Mega, which we're dealing with, which periodically, again, when the person learns Teda, is included and consumed into the Kedusha, to the holiness of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Vahainu when, Kishem Machnis, Kishem, Kishem, Matish Kaychon, when you Weaken the kayach of the nefesh Bahamis. Again, when you say weaken the kayach of the Bahamis, not chas v'shalom to weaken yourself in your learning Torah, but to you weaken the energy of the nefesh Bahamis, which usually on its own, it drives the person to be more behema, drives the person to be more bodily and animalistic. But yet, when you when you put that kayach, your matish, you weaken that kayach. Of Bahami is the kite, you know, is the end of the animalistic, the animalistic inclinations and the bodily inclinations, and you invest that. No machnis kokechon, you put all the energy of the Nebamas, big dushas in the holiness of Teda, it's filo. 
or prayer. So at that point, the Nefesh Abaham is Nefesh is itself being elevated, and with your Matish Krichon as a Nefesh Abahamis, and it's with his, its initial <coughs> initial signals to the person, those signals to be more bodily and animalistic, your matish, you weaken when you invest in the in the in the in the in the, in the learning teira. And again, you put your whole ramachi vodim, your whole passion into learning teira, or the tefillah, or your davening. At that point, the nefesh is the nefesh bahamis itself is completely consumed and elevated into the kedusha of teira. Ultimately, the, uh, the which is pnimi zeret zayin ishul hakadosh baruch hu. As well, when a person davens, again he's matish kechon, and he elevates it to the and he, and he brings all its kaiach into the holiness, the sanctity of the teir and tefillah, which is ultimately the pnimis of a kodesh baruch zrotzim, ultimately the anechi hashem alikecha, ultimately connected to the tachtein, which is the nevshach inus and bahamis. In this very case, with leis baruch with the core essence of a kodesh baruch have a wonderful night.